Welcome to our presentation on online learning. Here you'll find insights, benefits, tips and resources to inspire you to learn online. Let's introduce ourselves. We are Beth Baldwin and Janet Halliwell, learning and career development partners here at Quaratag. Quaratag is the Welsh charity that leads, inspires and delivers gender equality here in Wales. Different types of online learning. Some courses take place entirely in a virtual classroom. This experience is as close to being in a normal face-to-face -face training environment as you can get. It takes place live. You'll be able to see and interact with your fellow learners and with the tutor. And you'll also benefit from virtual breakout rooms, meaning that you can go into smaller groups to have discussions or to carry out various activities away from the main group. Many courses are online blended, which means they have some of the learning in the virtual classroom, but you can also have work to do yourself offline at a time to suit you. Self-paced courses are not live at all. You will work on your own and you can go as quickly or as slowly as you like in order to complete the course. And then there are other courses which will have a start and end date. So as the title suggests, you will start on a particular set date and the course will run for a number of weeks or hours and then it will end on an end date. So that means that um, you have to complete the work, you have to follow the timetable really as dictated by the course and finish it by a particular date. Types of courses. There are also different types of courses. CPD, the first one on this slide, stands for Continual Professional Development. And this is the commitment of professionals towards the enhancement of personal skills and proficiency throughout their careers. Some professions that are registered require their members to undertake a certain number of hours CPD each year in order to remain qualified. The CPD accreditation is a method of confirming that the training undertaken is at the accepted standard in order to meet um, the requirements and to ensure consistency. Non-accredited courses are ones where you may receive a certificate of completion so that you do have a record of having completed the course, but you do not necessarily have a qualification that would be recognised within the industry. It may be, however, recognised as evidence of CPD, Continual Professional Development. And then we have accredited courses. This means that you're rewarded with a recognised certificate when you've completed the course. And in order to complete it, you will have had to pass some sort of assessment, a test or exam. The qualification will then be recognised in that field of study and will be used as a benchmark in the recruitment process if you're applying for a job. So what are the benefits to online learning? You can literally learn from absolutely anywhere, from home, uh, your workplace, indoors, outdoors, learning is really accessible everywhere. Tutors can be from across the world, wherever the subject area experts are, they are accessible to everybody from anywhere. Many courses are free, low cost or offer payment plans to suit your budget. Online learning offers great flexibility. You are in control of the pace of your learning and you can often do this at times and places to suit you. It also demonstrates your discipline on CVs, your ability to motivate yourself and work unassisted. Employers really value this as a skill. You can improve your technical skills, whether this be on laptop, on a phone, on a computer. There are many different aspects to learning online. Top 10 tips for online learning. Treat online learning like a job. Allocate your timings and expectations to help you ease through the learning. Number two, make a study plan. Make sure you have goals, milestones set, deadlines, even reward yourself for finishing. Number three, find a quiet space. Whether this be at home or in the office, create that space, make it your own, include some snacks and find some things that inspire you. Number four, Switch off your phone. It's so much easier to engage on the learning without any notifications or pop-ups. Five, 
Eliminate distractions. Tell your co-workers, your family, your friends, anyone that you are busy and you're engaging in online learning. Number six, be careful to manage your time. Plan your day and work allocation. Choose the time you learn where you're at your peak and you work at your best. You decide you're in control. Seven, have dedicated breaks. Ensure you move around and hydrate and keep your energy boosted. Number eight, network and participate with online learning groups. Make the most of your new connections and expand as far as you can. Number nine, reward yourself for completing modules. Give yourself credit. Be proud of what you've achieved. Number 10, utilize all the support and resources on offer from the tutor, study buddies, any mentors you may have. Meet Tom. Tom was passionate about IT and he dreamed about making his spare time interest into a professional career. With only his school qualifications and being unable to attend university, he started off in the hospitality industry, quickly progressing to management. He then studied online in his own time and he gained two professional qualifications, one of which is a prestigious world recognised one. He's now progressed to being Assistant Information Systems Manager with a huge global logistics company and he's currently recruiting his own team to work on his own help desk and he's on a salary higher than that of someone who has had to go to university, get a master's degree and is several years older. So this is an example, a real life example of somebody who um, didn't go to university, studied entirely online, having saved up some money and doing it in his spare time, and then managed to, um, to get a very successful career. Help is at hand. It varies from site to site, but it's usually mandatory to register. And that means that you're then able to log in to your own profile area to access your, co your course and materials. Many sites allow you to set up and personalise this profile section and some allow you to store your certificates or digital badges within this section and even set up a kind of wish list of other courses that you'd like to do so that if you see something of interest, you don't have to spend ages looking for it again. There's almost always some kind of review or rating system for courses from previous students. So you can look at how many stars they have when comparing with others or read people's comments and feedback. I always check out reviews on Amazon before, before buying anything. So why wouldn't you do this when you were choosing a course? Even if it's a free course, you still don't want to be wasting your time. Some sites will provide you with a list of courses you may be interested in once you've had a browse or completed a course, which is always useful. And on some courses, you'll have direct access to a tutor, whereas on others, there'll always be some kind of option for obtaining help or assistance. What's on offer? Most online learning websites offer a vast array of courses. And um, whereas you can sometimes search by a particular course, they also often have categories so that you can click onto that particular category of interest to you and then you'll be able to see the courses that are available. So I'll just take a few minutes to look at the categories that are on this particular slide. What's on offer? This slide follows on from the previous one and shows yet more different categories from the same online learning provider. You'll find you know, similar types of categories on most online learning websites. So just take a moment to look at these to give you an idea of the sort of categories you can expect to find. If you take a few moments to look at this, you will see in here just some examples of the types of things that you can learn online. So you may have thought that maybe something you're interested in may not be available as online, etc. Or you may not have thought of some courses. Having a look at this might just give you an idea of something that you'd like to do. And this is taken from some, not all, but some of the courses found on just one website. So it, it gives you an idea of the huge amount and variety of things that you can do. So just have a look at that for a moment and um, see if anything jumps out at you or if anything surprises you. Landing pages. A landing page is a welcome to the learning website. It's a bit like the cover of a book or maybe the reception area of a building. 
It will give you an overview of what that company can provide you with, details about their brand and type and style of training, and there'll be links or icons you can click on to find more. There's usually a search option as well. And the good news about this is that most of them have similar features. So once you get used to using one or two, you'll find yourself much more quickly able to use any new ones that you go on to. You can see in the, on this Open Learn one that there are options to click, for example, on a tab about free courses so that you can just find out the free courses. Or you can simply type into the search box what you're looking for. Landing pages, Future Learn. On FutureLearn, you have a search option and you also have tabs relating to subjects and courses, etc. In addition, if you click on the Using FutureLearn tab at the top, then you can navigate to a section called How Does It Work? And this explains the best way to get the best from their website and their courses. Landing pages, Udemy. Udemy is very similar to the two previous ones. It has a search box and a categories um, tab at the top. Landing pages, read. The recruitment website read also has a courses section similar to others. So just by looking at these four, you can see that different online learning sites have very similar layouts. And once you've explored one or two, you'll begin to know what to look out for and how to search for things. There is more detailed information on this in the guidance document download. Open Learn. Just to highlight a few things so that you can see, you know, what things are slightly different between some of the websites and which might be preferable for you. So Open Learn, um, it has lots of free courses, which are really good. It also has a good range of subjects. It's linked to the Open University, so it's good good credibility and recognition. People have heard of the Open University and Open Learn, so they know that it's a good course. There's a really good profile area where you can store your achievements and your wish list for future courses. You can get digital badges for some courses, which means that you can put your achievements onto LinkedIn or onto your CV or your website or wherever you'd like to use them. And you can get some paid courses on there for which you get full accreditation as well. And the website link you can see on the slide, it's open.edu forward slash open learn. Udemy. Again, with this particular website, um, one of the things that I like about it is that they do have um, courses at massively discounted prices. Uh, I would say, you know, very rarely would you have to pay full price for any of the courses. If you register with them, um, you'll get information about special offers. So you very often have courses for as little as, as £10. So it's worth either registering or to keep um, checking on, on the site for a course you're interested in. They have a whole range of subjects, academic, vocational and ones just for interest and enjoyment and hobbies. It's a good one if you like to learn by watching and listening as the modules are very often in the form of a video. So um, you'll have a tutor actually talking you through um, in the way of a video. You can register for a profile section which stores your progression on which courses that you're doing etc and also those that you've completed. And the other thing about Udemy is there's usually no time limit, so it's very good for self-paced learning. And you can see the link on the slide above. FutureLearn. So some of the things about FutureLearn are that um, a lot of their courses are free and quite often they're quite short courses as well. So they may be, um, you know, just a few hours long through to maybe about a couple of weeks. Um, they do have some micro credential courses which are accredited. You can with them do online degrees. It's very user friendly as well. So it's easy. It's a good one to start with um, as it's easier to find your way around. Again, they have a huge range of topics and um, these range from sort of academic courses through to creative courses. And the link is shown on the slide. Read. 
Read is a large recruitment organisation and they have their own section for um, online courses. They have a selection of courses that are available from different online learning providers. So they're not usually actually their courses as such, but they provide a way of, of searching through different types of courses given by different training providers. Because of this, they're quite useful for comparing prices. So if you've seen a course on FutureLearn or Udemy, perhaps that you, you like the look of, if you go on to read, you can search for that course and see how much it is to get it through there because sometimes prices can vary and that way you can sort of get it at the best price for yourself. They also have a really useful career advice section and they also have a good range of career related topics as you, as you would expect. And it's very user friendly to use. And the link for that website can be seen on the slide. LinkedIn is the largest business orientated networking website geared specifically towards professionals. With over 500 million members in 200 countries, a professionally written LinkedIn profile allows you to create an online professional brand which can help open doors and opportunities to networks that you might not be aware of. LinkedIn is great for courses in professional and career development. They give you certificates and badges to display on your profile. Many of the learning is done by watching and listening videos and there is no time limit. So it's great for self-paced learning. Check out linkedin.com. Here at Quaratag, we are the leading gender equality charity in Wales. We offer a fair play employer business consultancy and a funded career development programme for women. During lockdown, we've been busy moving our classroom delivery to a virtual classroom delivery model to offer online learning. We've kept the same level of service and engagement and converted our materials to be more adaptable and suit the changing needs of our learners and of the environment. As a taster, we offer an e-meet to start the journey and meet your fellow learners a technical session for anyone unsure about using our e-learning platform, six delivery days full of engaging activities and of course with scheduled breaks, e-learning follow-up from each day to help you learn at your leisure, multiple career development resources such as interview skills, CV, uh, personal branding, networking and so many more, virtual tutorial support from your career or learning development partner, we have award-winning tutors, exceptional feedback, and our participants have achieved over three million pounds in pay rises over the past few years. We are very proud of the impact we make here in Wales. Please connect with us to find out more. We'd love to hear from you here at Quaratag. If you'd like to get in touch, please visit our website, www.agilenation2 .org.uk. Uh, you can email us, call us or follow us on our social media platforms. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation today. Best wishes, good luck for the future from Beth and Janet.